Hello, I'm The Raging Beard, welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm looking to add another level of immersion uh, to the already immersive experience that is VR. Um, it's not motion, sadly, one day that will come, not in the near future. Now I'm looking at tactile feedback, a uh, butt kicker kind of thing, but I'm doing it a cheaper route, a very cheap route, and we'll see if it's worthwhile, because you can always upgrade from there. Um, uh, I've seen other people have gone with these. I'll show you what they are, how much they cost, and we'll, we'll see how it turns out. As it is, if I get SimVibe, that's going to cost more than the hardware itself. Anyway, I apologise if there's any background noise. It's, it's, it's too hot to have the window and door shut. So, so what I've got here is uh, well, my rig's over there, as you can tell, and the uh, computer's here. So I've got to go around the room with RCA. 3.5 jack cables this will be from the computer to the amp 10 meters I'm only using one for now I've got one amp and two base shakers um, but it's a pain in the ass putting wiring around the room so I've got two to future proof myself doing both at the same time so that's what they are uh, in here we'll have the speakers themselves and I'll put links now these are 13 quid each 13 quid each on eBay, uh, uh, sorry, Amazon, uh, you know, including Prime. I don't, they're not pretty by the looks of it, but, uh, they just are what they are. Okay, so here we go. Now, I do know that when you attach it, you really need to use spaces, That's a washer stack or a nut or something because this needs room to vibrate. It's no good having it flush, pushed against something. It doesn't come with any wires, no cable in. I've got speaker cable um, already that I'll use. Um, I don't have any spade connectors, so I'm gonna have to do a box job and just sort of wrap it round for now. Um, yeah, so I've got two of them. I say 13 quid each. Oh, here we go. Excuse me, mate. Have a box. And now the amp. Okay, and this is just uh, a Lepi amp. And this was 28 quid. There was a cheaper one, but when you know, you do, I just saw how many people were using this and the amount of reviews and stuff. 28 quid, <laughs> you know, it's still cheap. So you're looking around, 60 odd quid for everything here. So there's, uh, that's the amp. Let's have a look at it. Oh. Yeah, some of the super cheap ones don't even come with a power supply, so this comes with the UK power supply. And uh that the amp there. Yeah, it's a two channel amp and uh primarily I you know these are used for cars and that so the bonus is it will be able to just hard mount to the rig. Um, using the pre-existing slots there. <coughs> so yeah, so basically, um, it's a case of uh, wiring it all up. Now, if you look at SimVibe, you're meant to have a separate sound card, a second sound card. But, I'm glad I read the instructions first, because if you're using virtual reality, which I do, uh, you're using the onboard sound, so to speak, of the headset. So it says if you're using VR, you can use your existing sound card, your onboard sound card, whatever you're using. So I'm glad I didn't go about a second one. Um, and you have, uh, you use the black and green, I have to check which one's which when I set it all up. But one's the front wheels, one's the back wheels, basically. Um, but only having two speakers. Uh, I don't think I'll be in the chassis mode, I'll be in the extended mode where you can choose where the speakers are. And I'll put, I'm gonna, my plan is to put one under the seat, see how that is. If it's not very strong, I'll put the second one under the seat. If it's strong enough, I'll put the second one uh, pedal end, I guess, and then you just tell it one's under the seat, one's under the pedals, let it do its thing. So uh, I'll get wiring up and uh, once they're on the rig, or I'm actually physically put them on the rig, I'll show how that goes. Because um, I've got a plan in mind. 
but yeah that's the that's the kit 60 odd quid uh, one back kicker in the UK for a buck kicker game of two is 170 pound I believe I think there's only one place that sells it um, so yeah you could have four of these for a lot less and if this works out I'll buy another two buy another round and then I'll have one on each corner for one for each wheel that's the plan anyway all right so time to crack on right as you can see time has moved on somewhat I had to go out and do a few bits but it did enable me to get uh, some spade connectors so the speaker cables connected a bit more securely so I've got it all set up here just to test it and it does work you know to a degree um, I downloaded Symbibe $89 about 68 quid I was gonna end up there anyway when I let's be honest so I just went ahead and got it and uh, yeah installed that set it up just followed the, the, the setup guide and uh, as you can see here I'm on um, Symbibe extension mode and uh, enable seat so I've got this set of seat and basically I've got my sound card selected here because I've got VR running so the default device is set to VR because you can't have the default device that's on here and I have now decided to get another sound card because otherwise you're going to need a, a, a splitter or like a Y splitter for my normal speakers and for this but it means on the rig whatever's coming through here is going to come out my normal speakers if that makes sense so I'm getting a second sound card just dedicated to this it's only 23 quid off Amazon so anyway um, so that's set up and what you do you just click the click the little button here if you can hear that very well it'll turn out it's even more obvious or if I um, actually have some treble on you can hear the little high pitch noise I assume it's better just to have it just fully bass but I'll find out testing it right finally I've got it mounted on the rig and it works um, there was some trial and error and some things didn't work as I had originally planned out so I'll just mention a few things and maybe it'll save you some time right, I'd initially planned to put one speaker <coughs> excuse me one speaker mounted on here and that would go on the, the, the two parts that hold the seat so effectively be attached to the seat with one speaker and I did that and I ran Symbibe in, in extensions mode and it did work but it was quite weak it was quite weak and it was apparent that really I should just use both both uh, speakers uh, and then I learned I'm better off going into chassis mode although I've only got two it enables you to have stereo sound so to speak so you can I'll, I'll show you how it's actually mounted but basically I've got one on the left support the seat and one on the right and in chassis mode which I'll show you in Symbive in a moment if I'm going over a curb with the left wheels just the front wheels I can only feel it's coming through the front um, I can feel the curb there for example and on the right I can feel it on there um, as before it's just a, a mono effect um, so yeah I'm using both speakers through the one amp and I've got it wired around the room I haven't bothered putting in that other cable like I said because I don't think I will add add another set of these um, so it does work and it works surprisingly well and we'll go over the rig in a bit and I'll show you right so uh, I did buy as I say I did buy a sound card to save having having issues with my usual speakers just got this uh, it was 20 something quid from Amazon uh, the bonus is using the Sound Blaster uh, software, it's got an equaliser. So I've adjusted the equaliser a little bit for use of Symbib, and I'll explain why um, I'm going to show it in a moment. So, right, let me um, shrink myself down. Right, so this then is Symbib, and uh, actually, you don't even need to see me, but never mind, you can have more of my bald bearded head. Um, 
So if we go into control center, I'll just show you how I've got it, how I've got it set up. I'm obviously using Project Cars 2 at the moment. Um, you can select your specific vehicle and venue. Now I've put the Audi R8 LMS. I didn't really want to do per vehicle, but the reason I am is what is one of the effects I'll show you in a moment. Settings, here we go. This just, as I say, I've got it in chassis mode. I'll put in to that sound card I just showed you. And it must that mustn't be your default. It mustn't be your um, default sound device. Uh, I'm only using the fronts. I've only got the fronts plugged in. Uh, moving on, I'll show you the settings I've got. Right, output. These are the these are the settings I've got in Symbiome. These are the effects that I'm feeling. It's taken me a while to tweak them. I'm sure I'll continue to tweak more and more. But I'm happy with how I've got it at the moment. In fact, I was going to lower the... Um, you don't need to destroy the carpet, thanks. I'm just going to lower the gear a bit more. Right, the engine vibration, vibration harmonics, that's one why I'm doing it per car, because you choose number of cylinders. Or you could just go in and change that every time, depending on what car you're using. I don't know what all the other stuff does, waveform, etc. I'm trying to keep it as simple as I can. So that's, you can obviously hear, feel the engine rumble. And gear change, feel a little kick as you change gear. Uh, these let, let you feel going over curbs and bumps, etc. And crashes, basically as impacts. Um, so I've kept it simple just for those five settings um, I'm sure people will come up with better things but that'll do right so uh, the sound card itself this is what I've done with the uh, equalizer it's obviously it's the, it's the base you're feeling and um, I'll see if it comes through when I'm on the rig, but when you're at high revs, you could hear a high pitch noise coming out the the speakers that I've mounted. This turns that down quite a bit, but you still get all the feeling. Um, that was just a bit of a worry late at night. Hopefully, all the vibration is being is being killed. You know, I've got the rig itself is on four hard rubber feet. I've got 18 mil thick MDF, which is vinyl lined. And three layers of foam on top of an old IKEA rug on top of a carpeted concrete floor. So, you know, there's not a lot more I can do. Alright, let's jump in the rig. I jumped ahead of myself a little bit there. Right, before we get in the rig, let's just show you how it's mounted. So, the two speakers. This comes up. Yeah, I've got an excessive amount of uh, speaker cable, but in the mind, I can't be asked to. Uh, change that there you go it's quite dark but you can see where they are they're not mounted quite central on the speaker because they would hit the side bit there as you can see but it does the job so they're roughly in the middle of, of where the seat belts to that bit and going around the side there's the amp I can adjust it on the fly if I want, volume and whatnot. Um, and yeah, there's the power cable hidden under a bit of silver duct tape. So yeah, it's pretty neat. I'm sure the cat will want to go under there and have a go at the speaker cables, but not a whole lot I can do about that. Okay, so right, now I'm in the rig, and we've got Project Cars 2 running. with are Symbibe here. So I double click and it says game already running um, now if you're running it full screen uh, you can have the on screen adjustment so you just put the mouse to the bottom and it brings up sim by here and you can adjust stuff on the go um, you've got to click back in the game to actually feel it apparently it used to just continue working as you adjust it it doesn't do that at the moment uh, but you know you make your adjustment just click up and you can feel what's going on so it's pretty cool that it's got that I know it has got other stuff telemetry and all that but I don't bother with that um, I use P Project Cars 2 tuner which is awesome I'll turn the amp on give it a moment now, I don't know if you can hear that 
it's vibrating away but it's not too mental just a nice little rumble I can feel surprising with the cheap speakers but I can even feel it through the wheel I mean the force feedback of the wheel is doing nothing that's doing absolutely nothing I can feel it through the wheel which is you know that's pretty cool so as you put your foot down the revs go up obviously you can it's, it speeds up the engine and towards the top I can't feel anything now uh, around 6,000 it feels pretty good there's a really heavy point there around 2,000 that's probably the bit that might bug the neighbours but you're not usually hovering around there yeah so you feel it more than you might expect uh, and if, if you a lot of people with these ones, these cheap ones, especially use like wood screws and screw it directly into the chair. That'd be brilliant. I've not done it with this. I thought about it. I've not done it with this because the padding's so thin that even the screw coming through the fiberglass a tiny bit, I reckon there's a chance I'm going to feel it. So I didn't want to risk that. Right, so I'll show you why uh, I'm using the equaliser. Listen to that at full revs. In fact, I'll mute, I'll mute the telly. It's just sort of, if you can hear that. But, if I go on to equalizer, and if I whacked um, all of these up, Like that, that'll do. Back in the game. Now listen. And as far as I can tell, that sound is producing no effect. It's useless. It is quite loud, and the kind of the kind of noise that I can imagine is quite annoying at night and will travel. So, and that's why it's pretty good having this. Just turn on my sim wire. Job done. Let's just nip round uh, Barcelona. Yeah, as usual, you can poke your poke your speed limits. Right, so every gear change I can feel a little jolt. Nothing mad, obviously, it's up to you how strong you have it. And we start off with everything way too strong, obviously, and turn it down. Uh, so that's how things are always done. Going over these curbs, I'm feeling them a lot. Some of these are just painted things and I actually uh, I'm not watching what I'm doing. I haven't actually um, reached or whatever. Just turn the wheel off. So everything I can feel now is purely is purely through the um symbol through the speakers. So you can probably hear that. My drive ignore my driving. Yeah it's weird but the <laughs> <laughs> no force feedback. So that going over the grass impacts. I mean, you can have them pretty harsh. Don't know how much of that's coming through, but as I say, I can feel it all. Feel it still through the wheel. You can actually sort of feel it more when it's super high revs and you can't feel a lot. I still feel it a bit through the wheel. It's hard to describe. I mean that around yeah five to six thousand is very pronounced through the wheel. In a good way. But here's the thing, you th you think you know when I first put it all on 
got it set up to a half decent setup. I'm thinking, am I, am I getting much out of this? And um, here's the thing. Hang on, let me put my wheel back. If you're concentrating on it, just thinking about it, you might you might think this is this isn't a big deal. You know, I can't feel a lot, not all the time. But if I turn it off, right? I've still got the telling you I don't know. All the all that you could hear there was literally through the. Uh, speakers of the uh, you know my bass shakers so I've now turned it off it's horrible it's now horrible it's just dead it feels lifeless I mean yeah I've got the force feedback for the wheel and that's you know immense and it's awesome but that's it it's quite unbelievable how life how, how dead you know it's it's like, oh, I'm back to, I'm just in a game. It's quite remarkable. I mean, I can only imagine how awesome some buck LFEs and some proper amps and that, you know, must be to have in full on awesome chassis mode. But this is now just lifeless. It's just, it's not. And link it with VR as well, where you've got headphones on, so you won't even hear the sound that those speakers are generating. All you'll do is feel it. And any little rattles you might have from your rig, you won't hear them. So it's just. It's hard to explain. And then if I turn it on. I mean, you really miss it when it's gone. Well, whether I'll get a knock on my door from neighbours below going, what the bloody hell's going on at one in the morning? <laughs> Until that happens. So, cheap bass shaker setup. Is it worth it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's worth it. 60 quid all in. Uh, 26 quid on a couple of speakers, the same again roughly on the amp, a few quid on a cable. You need a bit of speaker cable, but it's 60 odd quid. And it adds another level of immersion beyond what I expected for that budget. And again, it wasn't until I switched it off that I realised how much it was giving me. Because um, obviously the direct drive wheel can be quite overpowering, but you turn that off. And it's amazing how much I'm feeling through the wheel, despite those two speakers, you saw what they are, just attached right under there, coming up through this P1. But yeah, definitely, definitely worth it. Um, any downsides? No. The cost, cost is quite low. Your neighbours could get pissed off. <laughs> uh, I've yet to see if I cause any issues. Um, but yeah, give it a go. Uh, what have you got to lose? Uh, well worth it, very happy with it.